Yo, so season two reloaded is upon us. I just got back from Texas yesterday. I was in Texas for the Call of Duty Major 3 being hosted by Optic Texas. I just got back and I didn't even realize that this season is actually this close to dropping. So let's just kind of talk about it briefly. I mean, we've got a new map coming, a new raid coming, some changes to war zones, some changes to competitive. And I'm just gonna put this out there right now because I don't think it's gonna be mentioned in these notes because the news came out after these notes were released. But for ranked play, the cast off is being restricted and tuning is being completely removed from ranked play. That's right, they're removing tuning, no more tuning, it's gone. It's confirmed. Let's actually talk about the extra patch notes here and we won't go through every single micro detail because there's just way too much information. So we've obviously got the season two coming up. Prepare your loadout to get ready to redeploy. Season two reloaded, the mid season update for Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is arriving on March 15th at 9 p.m. Pacific following a patch to both games that were released prior to the estimated launch time. So we already recently just had season two drop. Uh, it was pretty okay. I mean, we got Dome, which is a remake. We got the museum map that should have been in the game from the get-go, but because of legal stuff, it got held back and then they decided to re-release it as new content for the season. And they basically said, okay, people are not really happy about that. So now we will actually release a brand new map. <laughs> That's pretty much the premise of what happened. Here's a general overview. We've got Raid Episode 2. You're going to be taking control of Price, Farah, and Gaz as they progress through the Adam Grad in search of a deadly warhead. The Hamlet Expo joins multiplayer map rotation deployed to a scenic winter getaway in an exclusive mountain resort in this new core multiplayer map. It's going to be a 6v6 map. And honestly, if you haven't seen it, it reminds me legitimately of something from Black Ops 3, which if you do not know, is my favorite Call of Duty of all time. So I'm very excited to play this map in this camp festival video game. Uh, we get to celebrate Warzone's third anniversary. That's right, Warzone is three years old pretty much now. Warzone 1 released during the height of COVID. It's been three long years since one of the best Battle Royale experiences, at least to me anyway, at least. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? So we're gonna be celebrating the third anniversary of Warzone of the March 2020 release of the original Call of Duty Warzone with free gifts every few days in the store. Okay, free, emphasis on free. They're going to be season two camos continue down the path of ronin challenges with additional challenges rewarding a new camo for each weapon class that's cool new weapon take aim with the new tempest torrent marksman rifle that's going to be fun to make a video on and then for fans who grew up with turtles what happens with shredder from the teenage mutant ninja turtles is brought into call of duty well you pay 20 bucks for him he definitely doesn't stop after 22 minutes of televised combat get this iconic villain in a new tracer pack operator bundle and unlock his ninjutsu powers hey you're gonna have to pay a good amount of money for that all right so they're gonna be spoilers ahead for this i'm just gonna leave this up here i really don't know too much about the raids i know it's story-based content and at some point or another i need to check it out with other people that enjoy playing raids because i have not played it yet i haven't even played the first one so i'm not i'm not really like prepped for all the raid stuff i'm mostly here for the multiplayer content as we all know but i'm gonna leave this up here for the people that want to read about it really quick uh now for the record i do not dislike the concept of raids or anything i just don't have really too many people that i know that play raids but at some point or another i would like to make a video on it in a let's play style kind of format like i do on my main channel which is just jay the gamer which you should go subscribe to because we're edging closer and closer to 4,000 subscribers <laughs> moving on though we got a brand new multiplayer core map the hemlet expo or him himmel Matt expo i don't know why i said hemlet uh, mixing business with pleasure at the Him Himmelmet Expo, a new core 6v6 multiplayer map situated on a European mountainside. Do we have the rights for this map is the better question, because we just got through dealing with that kind of situation with the museum map. Do we actually have the rights to this location? Is this based off a real location? And are we legally allowed to have it in the game? So it won't get pulled a week later. Uh, uh, tromp through snowy or tromp through the snowy streets past saunas and pool and go for a drink or betty at a solid vantage point in the restaurant bar uh head into the main event center to shake off the cold and heat up ba in battles taking place across the lounge and terrace and in the enclosed theater below i gotta say this is the most black ops 3 style looking map we've seen in a minute now, from what I recently heard on Twitter for Hardpoint, and I'm bringing this up specifically because I compare about 
the competitive side of Call of Duty, this is going to have five hard points on it, unlike Mercado, which is like seven. That's just a bit of a reassuring thing to know. And I'm also hoping that this would be good for control because Fortress Control is without a doubt the most one-sided and arguably the worst competitive Call of Duty map we've ever had. If you haven't played ranked and you haven't seen Fortress Control, the basic premise is defending side can literally spawn trap the attacking side right off the rip. It's not a good map. You could basically, you basically win if you manage to get like one tick on a point, then you're guaranteed defense and all you gotta do is just spawn trap the opponent. It's an absolutely terrible map. But either way, I like the aesthetics of this map. I like the colors, you know, let, let's just uh, pop it over here in another tab really quick, or maybe not. We'll just do a little bit of a zoom in right here. I like the colors though. Like it doesn't look like it's gonna be super, super giga big. There aren't really that many head glitches. It looks like either. This looks like a black ops map, like a genuine black ops map. I don't see a ton of like head glitches now, unless there's a bunch of the map we can't see. There is an inside portion, but in terms of the outside, there's good lighting. There are no noticeable head glitches, which is actually kind of incredible, if we're being honest. Okay, so this is, this looks like dome. Is this dome? This might be dome. Is there a, oh, there's a map guide. Okay, so let's see. All right, here's a spawn point, Cortac. This is the reception area. Uh, I'll leave all this little information up here. We're just gonna be taking a brief look at the pictures. Spec grew. This looks like a Black Ops map, man. This does not look like an Infinity War map at all. Okay, we've got Congress Center. Uh, the Himmel Map Expo consists of four major areas outside of the spawn zones, event center, main roads, restaurant, pool, and sauna. Uh, then we've got this Congress Hall right here. Again, no noticeable real like head glitches. Like this doesn't really have too many head glitches. Probably up here, maybe a little bit. Uh, reception, if you can get behind this desk, that's 100% a God Heady to an extent. Then Congress looks pretty, pretty tame. I mean, main roads. The main roads lead to the event center's top and bottom entrances with parked vehicles scattered throughout. From the southern roundabout, one can see over the sauna and up toward the restaurant while operators on the North Street enjoy a similar view over the sauna and against enemies uh, emerging from the pool. Use the various trucks and vehicles here, cover as needed, and be sure to race inside if you get notified of an incoming enemy streak. Okay, so streets is definitely going to be a like a no man's land. Restaurant. Okay, we got this little bar right here, some head glitches maybe. But again, like, for the most part, I mean... Pretty typical looking head glitches. Like, 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 like these are pretty tame compared to what we've gotten a lot of the other maps. It's a very nice looking map. Pool and sauna. I mean, yes, you can swim in the pool, thereby conducting an amphibious assault by merging and climbing into the lounge. Oh, okay. So you could climb up into here. Is that what I'm reading? I guess you could climb up here somehow. I don't know. Uh, I can see this being a head glitch and maybe a little bit of this part being a head glitch, but for the most part, I mean, this looks like a pretty damn tame map. Like, I could definitely picture people camping up here, camping in the windows, whatever. Like, it, it, it looks good. Now, now, what else are we, what else are we looking at here? Oh, wow, they've got actual, like, in, like information on this. Like, like, what's, like, what's the play? Like, that's actually kind of cool. All right, but it is confirmed to be a larger map. Okay, it, it's a little bit of a larger one, but I don't, I don't know if that still means it's going to be, like, gigantic. Once there's 30 seconds left of the current hard point, start rotating. It, that situation will just be, just, just a brief preface. Oh, it does talk about the hard points here, though. There are five hard points on the map. First appears just for the restaurant. Use the showers area within the hard point for cover. The hard point that rotates the conference room, which encompasses the stage, and up to the first cover barrier past the front steps. You most definitely want a trophy system here, as grenades of all types are bound to in in inundate the enclosed room. What word is that? Third hard point marks only the outdoors. So uh, the fourth takes play, it takes you back inside to the lounge, and the fifth is located just north or just inside the North Hall entrance. Cool. I mean, it looks like a Black Ops 3 map, and I'm not mad about that, man. The Black Ops series are without a doubt the best Call of Duty's, at least to me, anyway. So I'm excited for that. Let's get back to the patch notes and just kind of go over everything else really quick. Drop zones coming back. Don't need to explain that. All or nothing. Equipped only with throwing knives and a pistol with no ammo, each operator must fight for themselves. Um, in a race to earn 20 eliminations. What game mode is that? All or no that sounds like another game mode before. This sounds like uh, one in the chamber almost. Uh, oh, well, one in the chamber's which right here. 
But um, equipped with a throwing knife and a pistol with no ammo, each player or each operator must fight for themselves to race to 20 el eliminations. Earn additional perks by eliminating enemies, starting with scavenger perks to allow for ammo pickups. That's gonna be fun. That's a cool sound of game mode. We got one in the chamber coming. I like this picture a lot. <laughs> uh, loading a match with the idiot with a pistol, one bullet, and three lives. Uh, players fight for themselves, and any single shot to the part of the to the body. Earns an elimination, granting the attacker one more bullet for the next. So, if you've never played one of the chamber, that's what it is. Then we've got the third anniversary celebration of Warzone One. Now it looks like we're just gonna be getting a lot of cool things. I mean, this is really cool. Warzone three years. Um, yeah, they're gonna be giving up, uh, giving us a bunch of free stuff. Some additional Path of Rona challenges. This is the like OG Cherry Blossom. I want to say it looks like it anyway. Uh, whether you're finished with the journey to Orion or only have a few weapons with gold, there's some new camel challenges for you to complete. The Path of the Ronin event expansion, available for MW2 and Warzone 2.0. As part of the Season 2 Reloaded, Path of the Ronin will shift from seven virtues of Bushido to another key aspect of Ronin, the ability to be deadly with any given weapon. Each weapon category will have a specific challenge attached to it, which can be viewed and tracked through the in-game event tab. Completing a weapon, oh, I was about to butcher that. Completing a weapon challenge unlocks a new camouflage, Winds of Ash, for every weapon in that specific category. Nice. Complete all 10 challenges to earn another new camo for every weapon. Bowing Blossoms, as well as a golden charm that represents your dedication to the following path of the Ronin. Uh, here are your challenges. Get 125 headshots for ARs, 75 for battle rifles. It says eliminations. Uh, 100 SMG headshots, uh, 75 LMG headshots, 50 shotgun headshots, 50 marksmen, 50 sniper rifles, 30 handgun headshots. Melee, get 30 kills from behind, and launchers, get 40 kills. I like this. Th this is cool. This is really cool. Adding new camos in the game with a challenge. That's actually really cool. Has Kyle ever done that? Have we ever had a DLC or an update to the game that added a new camo? I, I, I guess if you count, uh, what was the one from MW19? I could not remember it. It was like the charcoal one. I, I didn't really do too many of the challenges because they were insane. They were long. Oh man. I can't remember what it was called. Um, And then uh, this is just kind of explaining things a little bit, I guess. Next, we've got the Tempest Torrent. Arson Rifle, I mean, this hard-hitting DMR from the Tempest Armament of Law offers the versa versatility of the M4 platform, that's right, this is going to be an M4 variant, pretty much, and the velocity uh, and impact of 7.62 rounds. The base capacity of 20, that's crazy. You can afford to utilize its fast fire rate in the heat of battle. It's recoil, though predictable, requires a steady hand with a quick but noticeable kick up and to the left. At the KV broadside, rip, they're nerfing it, by the way. Uh, the Tempest has the unique property of being a new weapon on an existing platform from the Modern Warfare 2 launch. That means most attachments that were unlocked for the M4 can be used on this weapon. So be sure to unlock everything for that platform to ensure maximum versatility when the Tempest Tour becomes available. It's typically a two shot elimination unless you can land a headshot up through the mid. It's a two shot with 20 rounds? Holy cow! Wait a minute! It's based with 20 rounds and it's a two shot? That's insane. Now watch this thing become the next DMR from a uh, Warzone 1. Try pairing it with a short range weapon, a sidearm or an SG or a shotgun using overkill, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't unlock weapon challenge. You get 25 double kills with marksman rifles. It's easy. Or just pay for it. <laughs> and so 20, 20 rounds in a two shot is crazy. Um, so I, all right, so the shuriken won't be usable in custom loadouts until after season two. That's fine, it's only a pickupable. Uh, we've got the shredder bundle. I don't really, I mean, it, this is cool, I guess, but you got to pay for it, and you, that typically just isn't something that interests me. We've got some stuff coming for St. Patrick's Day. This is cool. Bring back the goblin or the leprechaun, rather, from World War II. That little guy was incredible. Tracer pack, uh, Padrig's Pandemonium. This is insane. This actually is a really cool looking graphic. Legend has it that in the middle of March for only a few days, the rivers of Al Mazra flow green. Some say a rainbow can also be seen over the air and land with legend foretelling of something truly treasurable. If only for a single match on the other side. Uh, so does that mean they're gonna change the map just to like kind of fit into the St. Patrick's Day theme? That'd be pretty cool. 
Uh, this is gonna have tracers and whatnot. LG weapon blueprint with green tracer rounds and the sky end combat knife blueprint. This bundle is plenty of green and so forth and so forth. Then we've got tracer pack bone chiller, some additional stuff. Generation XRK, there's Farah and the green looking scar, TAC V, TAC 56, whatever. Um, got a raid bundle, you know, more stuff you could pay money for. New social feature, party queuing. Among other technical updates across MW2 and Warzone 2 that all developer studios are working on, there's one notable feature addition uh, that makes it even easier to form parties with friends and competitive teammates. Party queuing allows players to automatically join a friend's party once they are finished with their active match, just like inviting friends to a normal party or channel. You can access party queuing via the in-game social menu. That's cool. Because, I mean, we've all been in those situations where we've either walked away from our controller and our friend is spamming us with invites or we're spamming a person with invites after they said they want to join and they never did. That's a cool feature. Uh, just blah, 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 blah. Well, can you use a voice text for those currently in match? You can, wait, while queuing, you can use the voice and text chat with those currently in a match with all key players appearing in the game channel members list for all players in set part. That, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool stuff. Uh, party queuing can cause the current squad to be ineligible to requeue for a playlist if their new party size exceeds the matches maximum party count. So, you know, uh, yeah, that, that makes sense. If, if the mode requires four but you got five it won't it won't queue up that makes sense free mangaka art uh courtesy of world-class artists called the season with regional japanese comic artists three imagine the heroes and action-packed events of season two green wall assemble uh call of duty major three hosted by opposite texas begins on march 9th it's well i'm well i hope it's a good event <laughs> uh no better time to upgrade blah 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 i mean this is cool Th this is actually really really cool yeah, this this is cool stuff. I like when they do stuff like this. And then there's really nothing else really going on. They talk about Major 3, blah, 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 stay frosty. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like on the subs to the channel when we're gaming content. MW2 Season 2 Reloaded launches tomorrow. Could be recording it and more than likely streaming it over on Twitch.tv or Kick. Uh, Jay the Gamer on both platforms. Same as is here. Yeah, I'm going to be streaming it. So thanks for watching again. Be sure to leave a like on the video, sub to the channel for gaming content. As always, guys, I'll see you later. Happy to be back. Peace.